Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Mod. This is SpaceX point six. Um doing a junker ship in parts. I got one destination done. I added a second. And in theory it should just go back and forwards between planets and pick up stuff. Though I don't think this is a final design. Then we can make this a bit tighter, we can probably make it smaller even. Um I reckon we can do a hundred tiles more empty and it won't change the mass. So we could actually have more empty tiles on the ship and it wouldn't be any bigger. It's kinda of interesting. The problem with this design though is that it gets too many bots. So there's three thousand bots in use right now from this planet. So the, oh, all the robots are trying to move stuff. Um I don't know whether I want to pick up iron and copper plates. I don't know if it's worth it. I should just not pick up this shit. I should just take that stuff off the list, I think. Because, um, it's ingots you want, right? Like, if I pick up this, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of bot movement. It's not very good. So I might take that out. I'm going to take that out of the list. Good thing is I can just add them in here. Um... We don't want plates. I mean, some places maybe you want to, you know, move it, but... I don't really need to, I don't think. Here we go. I mean, that's, that's probably fine. Um, what about the Vulcanite blocks? Do I want to steal all of them? I don't know how we got 33,000 prod modules though, but... That's cool. But this should um, mean that my core mining on the rest of the stuff for my planets will get going again. Um, because I'll be taking all the junk of every planet that I don't currently do. Oh, at least like a sand. If you want to get more um, low density though, that's where the that's where the copper and steel and stone goes, I guess. Low density structures. That's a better thing to move off world. I think we just delivery cannon the products of that elsewhere. I don't know. Look at this here, like look at this. This is just. Just a bit much. Just a bit much. I never got a proper design of this. I thought I'd done it, but when I look at this, it's like, uh, it's not. It's all jammed up. We just got too much enriched, but I mean, how does the enriched even get out of there? Where's the red wire? What? What do these ones do? I don't even know what my own logic does these days. It's a bit tricky. What am I doing? What am I doing? Anyway, um... Yeah, we won't take the iron. We won't take the copper. There's too many items. I mean, there is a lot here though. I mean, look at this list. I mean, 40,000, 10,000, it's not that big actually. But I could probably just consume it instead. Um, so, yeah, that's okay. Um, let's go to the next planet, which was Andrecora. Now, I started prepping that last time, but I don't think I finished with that. I think we had a, I was going to do some more th thinking. Now this one's got, oh my god, look at the copper and iron here. 400,000, that's all it's got. There's nothing else to request. It's endless iron and copper. I mean, maybe that's okay. And these chests are, you know. I 
I mean, honestly, you should do like what recipe consumes a lot of iron and copper, and that's it, right? I mean, I can just figure it out, but the main reason I want to do this is that the core mining keeps going. This has actually kicked this up again, which is good. It stopped. Though the the coal look of liquefaction never seems to go, but I turned it off, so that makes sense. We got no gas. We've got oil, don't we? You got too much oil, but we've got no gas to make plastic. What's that about? I thought I was working on blueprints in the save. I might not even. Yeah, whatever. Look at this. Look at this here. Like this is just. This is obscene. That's all from this. Uh, all mining. Overflow. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, and then we get the oil, which we obviously don't seem to get enough of. No, it's actually jammed up because of uh, stone. Interesting. Concerned that this planet requires to, to eat all that stone to make goods. Oh, look at that. Oh, he jammed up on the. Um, no, he didn't. Oh, it's Prod 2's. He haven't jammed up on that yet, but that's pretty. And that's kind of jammed too. Yeah, that's all jammed up. What else like we do, like, you know, localized copper, for instance? It'd be nice if you can turn plates but into ingots. That'd be nice if they had a recipe for that. I think that'd be good. Like, re molten, like, melt the plate and then re ingot. Anyways, lose like 10% or 5% or something. I think that'd be good because it's just like densifying stuff you don't. I have to like just move around. Oh yeah, that was like we're gonna do something new there. I was gonna do so many things. The problem with this game is like it's endless. And that's also why it's such a good game. It's endless. You spend so long just I'm going around in circles, doing a. Uh... Variations of the same thing. So I think we take off the plates, even though we kind of wanted to take them off the world. Maybe do a ranking one as well. We take the only take the iron until they're equal. How do I do that logic? It's even worth doing. So this, this, once he gets a signal, it puts into the purple chest. Then they go fly everywhere because the spaceship's gonna be, uh, it won't be so picky. Then they'll start requesting at the same time. A wall there. Okay, so this actually should be based on A doesn't exist. If there's no A, they should request. Once he has an A signal, it should request. No, no, when, when it doesn't have an A signal request, when, it do, when A signal arrives, it doesn't request. So, I need to change this. Can we just pass this through whatever's left over here? And it goes to the behind thing. So, if A doesn't equal zero, it is a night thing. That's kind of what it is already, but they won't go through. I do that. They won't request. They won't prep preload. How do I preload with that with that situation? I don't think of that one out. There's probably a way, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. Hmm. I mean, I've gone quite high as well. Five hundred items is actually a shitload. I mean, 5,000 is my filter. Um, it's just like just trying extra excess on planets, but you know, you can actually drill right down and grab all that all that stuff that's like 100 or something. But I think the problem is, like, if I look at my builds, like 1,000 or something, my builds have excess stuff sitting around, and you kind of, like, well, I've got 2,400 
Uh, burner inserters, for instance. I mean, I could use them slowly somewhere else, but... That was a ton of waste. What the ice I got here? 63,000. I mean, does this world not have water? Turns out it doesn't. Okay, that makes sense. So I think we have to turn this to not pre-request. We definitely need to turn it off though if uh, an A signal is received. So I, I'd like to have it so it, 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 it requests it when there's no A signal. But if an A signal is received, it stops sending it. I can SR latch, but not quite. So, let's have a little think. So, yeah, I don't know how to do it. The main problem is actually these chests, that's the problem. I still want to have this request again, these need to turn off. I don't know how to swap it. Maybe I can cancel it out with the opposite to a minus one multiplier. So, currently it's not going for any filter, it just goes. Um, but we could do another one that sends a signal when A is received. Yeah, we just do a duplicate signal. We'll do another one here. That's receiving it. But can we do minus? You can't do minus that thing, can you? You throw it up behind it. Yeah, so when the A signal does receive, that makes sense. So, we do the whole minus one thing. Just to cancel out the request. Cool. So it just goes straight through. I almost got a million on that thing though. I have to cancel it out again. I think I do. <laughs> yeah, can't see canceling out that uh, spatial console. Now it's got negative millions of these, and I'll pass through the red wire. So they're kind of good. Now in theory, when it arrives, it'll just keep getting this positive signal, but then it'll receive the negative signal, and then it'll go to zero. And so that these won't request anymore. And these will insert. Now I promise you, I don't think I need purple chests in that regard, so I can see them red. I think that's going to be fine. I might be do two lots of reds as well. That might be even better design. Um, yeah, so it's like a preloading design. I think that's good. The only problem is that you can't kind of use like these resources elsewhere at the time. I mean, I could be recycling these um, used f uranium fuel. That's what it does. There's nothing else to do with it.
Yeah. So basically, it's just, I've been, been too lazy on recycling. Because um, I get all the uranium here. I mean, I could do Kovrex per planet with these nuclear power plants. I don't need to actually receive them off-world. But that's what I do. I kind of receive it into, into here, right? I'm going to use this to make the uranium fuel cells. But I could recycle. So I've got this recycler here going. problem is that once it fills this chest up, it stops doing it. It only does it enough for this thing. It's probably not telling it not to... Hang on, what's this request? This is, this is 50. There's another way this thing gets the uranium, right? I, th I should just do Cobrax then. That actually solved that problem. So... Let's get a sick one of these here. Oh, we do a two by two. I know we got them on, on this. Do I need two by two? Um, or a buffer chest. Maybe a buffer chest two by two. I don't even know how to make them. The craft one. Okay, it's a bit much, but... Here we go. Get rid of this thing. We're actually using all these um, different chest sizes, because they're actually really good. Yeah, I guess to do request that. That's the wrong thing. It's supposed to be Cobrax. Um, this thing. Yeah, so we don't technically need the um, uranium two three five. So technically, let's request a chest. That one doesn't have an actual output chest. I wonder if I can belt it. Not really. Oh, why have 45 things been damaged? A lot. Um, that sucks. Two thousand uranium two three five here, yeah, jeez. Because all all the um all this coverage does is this converts two three eight to two three five. It uh, um you lose three two three you lose three of the two three eights to gain one two three five. You gain this is losing two things really. So we should have like this sort of set up on each planet. Now I don't think I've got enough um nutrients to out of that or that's why I was gonna do this thing. But heats of um used for uranium fuel cells. Which I was taking back to my main planet to recycle, but I could just recycle on each planet themselves. It's not being done currently. I think the thing, good thing about this spaceship thing, it does highlight that. Oh yeah, my ship. I forgot that. Well, this one wasn't working last time either. We actually, um, yeah, we, we actually didn't work. I ran out of fuel. I forgot about that. I can't even launch. I stuffed it up. I had some 
launch condition going? This one here goes. Let's redock straight away. And I couldn't figure out what I did wrong. That's got the green and a red um, signal, and that, that goes to there, which should be fine, but for some reason. It doesn't. It's not fine. I think it's this doesn't equal 23 problem. Am I even reading this correctly? I'm asking an A signal from somewhere else. So it's got red and green here. There seems to be a red and green A signal. I don't think it's a problem. There's any specific items they're using that red and green, but look, maybe the red comes back. It doesn't go inside there though, the, the red, so. I think it's tricky. Oh, that one there, I can tell, is a bit polluted, maybe. We might have to separate the wires. I don't know how much I um, tie this sort of thing up, but it's always messy. He's got some wires and he fixes them. Hey, it's kick hey again. Oh, up at signal minus 999k, what the hell? That's probably why it's not working. How's it even getting that number? I don't even know how that number's getting, getting there. The console is 999k. And how's this getting to a negative? 999. Oh, because I'm adding 3 to the console number, and the console number's been read through. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Okay. i got to make sure the red and the green aren't backfilling this console thing. This, this green thing's passing through. I need another separate um, signal after this one. So it's okay to do this. I need another one after this that has another one of these to filter it. Actually, can I just do anything greater than uh, positive numbers? I think. And zero. I've got a signal and a D signal and a planet signal. Now technically I needed that um Do I need the planet signal? I think I need this O signal for this team, but that goes through there anyway, it doesn't go through the ship. I think the this this blue purple See I'm seeing the planet signal through there. That's saying the current planet. Because that's receiving it from this thing. Which is fine. Yeah, gotta fix that console up. Um, I'd like to go with the A and D in the planet signal too. Because they're, they're filling through this thing. So 
So I might as well add those, all those signals in. How else do I filter it? How the map out? Because they're positive numbers, you see. I think it's worth filtering them out. We had planet signal as well. Let's do the um, arithmetic, this thing here, it's easier. Here we go, nice filter, and that can go into, on board the ship, in theory, is the red signal. A little messy, you probably can tie it up, but... Let me get rid of this thing. There we go, the red signal's correct now. We're reading the green. Now we turned off that... ...signal there, which is actually not needed. What's that chest for anyway? That was a... ...leftover. Um, I'll get rid of that. The green signal is okay, I think, to be wrong. This clamp's looking okay again. So what's new? It's Kit okay, How's your streaming going? My pocket's a bit full too. Little bots want to feed me. Yeah, I think it's better. getting these other signals. Hang on, we're not supposed to be getting that twice. Oh, now it's gone 10 million on that shit. Whoops. I guess that makes sense. Yep, okay. There's no preloading on this one though. The, the grid circuit is clean. This doesn't make sense in my head though. Um, time size by 5 million. I guess it's the location of these. These are actually behind us. Yeah, didn't the order funny? There we go. That's that cleaner. Let's see what's happening. You like rows? Makes sense. These things sometimes. Oh wait, hang on. Is that right? Oh yeah, because it's got an A signal. 
And it starts this whole merry-go-round of cancelling out the A signals. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, I don't know about this stuff being cancelled, but maybe it's okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing. Once we got this, I don't know how we're going to fix this uh, lack of fuel now. We need to get another ship here. A little bit of refuel. I hope it doesn't muck it up. This is going to go to Angora, I think. Angora? What's Agna? What is it called? Agnea. Yeah, I need to get that one going. That's an ice iceberg. Is it at twenty two thousand? Why isn't it flying off? Is it broken? What's wrong with this thing? Where should we going? The temperature here is not charging either. I'm confused. What's wrong with this ship? Missing a condition. Oh, it's not at zero yet. It just takes so long to unload. Wow, okay. It's crazy. Um, I mean, yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm surprised. I thought that's okay. It will go straight away, which is good. And this shop's actually powering the planet as well, which is kind of. Bad. I'm gonna drain its fuel canister. It shouldn't be powering a planet. I wonder why it is. I guess you can't tell I'm not to. Just kind of sad. Why do they get school dark? Where's my input lighting? Lighting not working. Hang on. We're gonna mod for that. It's supposed to be uh line things up. Well, I hope I fix that docking problem. It's now got um it's got a lot of junk on this green it's actually red. Red circuit. Um what are the greens contaminated by it? I guess they're kinda of all reading here so why oh, they get these other signals as well get the back of that green I see that's something I can fix kind of this is a green signal to go into the back of this and we're reading we're trying to mix the signals but we actually don't technically need this to be green it can be red and that won't send this, this ship back through. When you have red and green, they combine, so I can uh, red that instead and green that. In theory, that works. Let's see? That's not so that's much cleaner. Now I've got perfectly clean red and perfectly clean green. Um, what about this console? That's looking good too. And that is okay, yep. That cleans out the, um, tick box. I 
I guess like for this, you're setting two set, you're setting that signal and you're setting that signal. Um, this is looking much better. Bit of a mess before. We had a lot of wiring things that shouldn't have been there. Are these numbers are looking okay. A couple of tick boxes floating around. Bit of contamination on that, but um. Hopefully it doesn't keep docking and take off again. I hope I fix that part. Currently wasting a lot of um I might turn this off this this cause. I don't wanna waste well it's in case I take too long to get fixed, but really we're about to get there, so. Um, is that landed okay? Is that on top or below? No, it's on top. On top. Okay, let's go move some fuel over. What's the launch on this thing anyway? 530 or 7000. Yeah. go, should fuel it up. I might save it before we do this because it might muck up. Um Okay, so fill up. We've got to launch now. Go to the right place. Fuck! Do it again. But why though? Let me have a look at this. I'm on orbit. Why does it land? It like, instantly lands. It just. I'm going to the bottom of this. Mess with the docking clamp logic. It's firing when it shouldn't. Yeah, it's got the docking signal here when it shouldn't do. Okay. So I gotta figure out the we're passing a signal through we shouldn't shouldn't be basically. It gets complicated when you start like cancelling out signals. So It's this thing here, so maybe I should just isolate these with red. Well, I kind of like the green though. I think that might be the problem. We have these reading red for these three. Now that's reading for the D signal. And these are reading for console and speed. We could switch, switch these to being red. Let's go out this. And then go green. Oh, but then the red. Will the red contaminate? No, it won't. And now it's separate signal. Will it be okay? Should we read anything else? Test it out. Fuck, wasn't it? It wasn't it. So dumb. Alright. I boozed like I boozed up somewhere. Not sure what it is though. 
Is this a frustrating thing when ships uh green signal and they shouldn't? So as I'll I'll go back to it's probably um these ticks. So these are this is supposed to be not 23, and I guess that's true when we're on the surface and also in orbit. So it's still gonna be tick, regardless, and so is that ticking. Unless that's supposed to say go back to 23 though, that's not the case. And it passes the signal through to go there, with that launch condition. But the docking is going as well. Hey Valdak, Dobby Rano, how are you going? What are you working on? I can't figure out what I can't figure out why my ship keeps instantly docking. I've done something wrong. I mean, it like flies or it just flies. Hang on. No, that's fine. It's supposed to do that. A twenty three. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Jeez, I'm an idiot. I said A23. It's not fucking A23. I'm thinking like a, a computer. It's Planet 23. Jesus. What am I doing? Oh my god. Crikey. Crikey almighty. Interesting enough that it actually passes a signal through back to the console. How's that happen? It's got 23 orbit for some reason. That's not where we are. Anyway, we'll try this um, solution. Should pressure fix these as well. Oh my god. I'm just a total idiot. That's fine. That's fine. It's working now. Good on my presence. Santa's got a sleigh. He's on his way back home. Junko ship is a go. Now I might start recycling the used, used uranium. I was working on um Andragora with a Carburex processing. Maybe that's where to go. I can request from Buffett, I think. Oh, that's right, we couldn't do that. We do a red belt. No, it's too short. So what's new, Valdek? What's happening? I'm very quiet. Um, how do I get this out of here? You just woke up. Oh man. Were you partying last night? Was it a party at, at Valdek's house? I wasn't invited. The mass shooting, eh? Oh yeah, I read that about in the news. It's at university or something. Some disgruntled student, I'm guessing. Was that near where your place or quite far away? Very far away. Oh yeah. The Vedic safe. Hmm. I got an idea, but not, I don't really like it. We can pipe this. Let's do this. Yeah.
This dumb chest down here anyway. World's, the world's going to hell, isn't it? The world's going to hell. Enjoy the, enjoy the, the end times. Praise be. How many of these things do I want? Uh, you ran less than... Birthday. Yeah, it's cool. Well, then how do I get these things to get more? I guess I can request it, but when they request from that one first so instead of that, I need to make sure they grab from that rather than that. I don't do that. That's a trick. Not that you go through much uranium, this stuff's pretty efficient. That's very efficient actually. I could probably make this a bit tidier. It must be a nicer way to design this. I probably should put this on the right hand side. But then all that would be on the wrong side too. I don't know. It looks alright. Um, I still don't know if I did the right thing here. I'm still gonna do this on each planet. I'll slowly recycle these uh, things. Now I probably shouldn't uh, inject the. I mean, why do we get run out of this stuff? They won't work out too well either, will it? What's this news anyway? 19 uranium, yeah. Do I want to run out of uranium, you see? So as long as this is greater than 100, I want to insert. I believe. So I guess do it. That. 100. That's pretty fine. Things pretty quick. Pretty uh pretty tidy. How's my little junker going? Unloading. Have you built a junker ship in your game, Vildek? I guess he must have. Recycle your goodies. I'm doing a 5k limit one. Not sure it's a good idea. I might, might be a bit too lenient. I guess I do like different sized ones. Let's get this one working. You're recycling rockets. Oh. But the question is, Veldek, why not a spaceship? Why a rocket? See, I think the rockets in this expansion are a trick. I don't think you're supposed to use them. That's my thoughts. I think they're a bit, bit bung because they always crash. They recycle just raw material back to smelters. They don't recycle anything else. Oh yeah. Raw material, eh? See, I've got like... Because I've got, I've got coal mining on every planet, right? So I get hundreds of thousands of resources that are sitting there. This planet here, not too bad. This is stone brick. But when you look at the map, it's just a, this is actually a, this was just a purely a brand new one, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a, this is quite a clean job. I haven't like, blocked up yet. 
We're slowly blocking up on the uh, storage here, see? So all my ones that do coal mining, with this little build. Looks like I recycle barrels here, I've done that. Uh, and I, I always run out of... something gets blocked up. Currently we actually got too much cryonite, so that's a, that's a good thing. I think for a while there we didn't um, have enough because we, we were stuck. But it seems to be okay now. They... Hmm... One thing I find um, annoying with the planets is oh, this one here makes too much sand. Another one makes too much stone. Another one needs too much stone. So you're, uh, you're supposed to ship them between the, t the, the two, obviously, but I haven't really bothered too much of that. Kind of just. Uh, turn into productivity modules or. Speed module. See, this speed module thing I thought was a good idea. Turn on my um, coke and coal or plastic, whatever, into speed. Actually, what's the efficiency modules? I don't, I don't remember that one. It's probably something that eats that. Uh, that's more copper, isn't it? Hmm. And get batteries, so you need. Well, I guess sulfuric acid is gas, I guess. So that's like copper and coal and gas, I guess. Yeah. You know, efficiency twos. Or right, threes, that's coronet rods. That's a shit ton of copper. Do they all need lots of copper? It looks like they do. 1.4k copper, 1.4k copper, 900 copper. So, all the modules at the 3 need shit tons of copper. And they're slowly getting more stone. That's always used lots of copper, I think. This one here, like, this is quite crazy. 1.2k. Nequitite. Good module. 51,000 homium plates to make one? Really? 51,000? Huh. Oh, copper, 124,000. So I guess it balances out. You go copper and homium. This one's uh, copper and... Beryl. Beryl, what? Huh? Oh no no it's yeah copper and barrel and Vita. 75k Vita. And this is um copper and erudite. And erudite, 90,000 erudite for the speed modules. Monstrous. What a monster. Little monsters. So weird, I'd like an icon pop up and it disappeared on my phone. I don't know what it was. I still think like prod six is probably pretty good. 12k copper. 2.4k erudite. Um 12k copper and 1.6k. So that's actually quite cheap. 1.6k um Vita. Vita. That's not much at all. It's got a bit of gas though, 34k gas. And this one's only 1.8k homium. That's kind of a sweet spot there, I reckon. Homium and stuff isn't ramped up. Once you get to like Prod 8, uh, 37k for a Prod 8, it's just crazy. Seven thousand. Sevens. It's only ten k, and that's one point six k. Yeah, 
Hey, that uh, Battalion Epoxy. Cost of that is just nonsense. The weird thing is it actually doubles in cost between uh, 8 and 9 and goes from 37 to 75, whereas this one goes from 10 to 37. That's really imbalanced. The 7 to 8 is like almost four times the Vita Melange, whereas it's only two times on the 8 to 9. This one is 1.6 to 10. It's like over, it's like what, six times, I think. This one is again probably like six times, but the the relative amounts is not not that bad. So maybe prod six is like the ideal, but like you know not using too much feeder. Maybe I mean these other resource types. I mean you get you get infant over time, but. That's my little, my little hauler. This guy's kind of sucking on the... Looks like these in-between belts are... Uh, oh, yeah, that makes sense because they last. I kind of need a uh, bot-assisted requester. Uh, problem is I can't tell the bots to request what's inside the ship because these are on set requests. So I can't tell them to request these specific items with bots. I'd probably grab this stuff too then. I still don't figure what I'm going to do with this stuff up here. Like once I recycle this stuff up into orbit, it's just going to clog up orbit. Oh crap. Oh, let's use uranium. 11,000. I was going to send it down to Navis in like true recycling style. And build like. Build something useful for it, but. Where things been going? No, they don't really go, do they? They're sort of... There's no power needs down here, so... Nothing really goes. I kind of feel like they're designing like a burner phase um, blueprint, though. I think even just doing that would be quite fun. This thing is like doesn't seem to craft very fast. Considering I got this beacon. No um What's that one doing there? It's doing anything. Where's the plate and the sulfur? It's the sulfur there. Where's the iron though? Oh, it's supposed to get iron. I don't know. I don't care about that. Where's AP? Where are my little uh, orbits going? Oh, that's still holding there. Yeah, they're holding the heat much better now. We're not using so much in this orbit location. And we start dialing up again, but when we do, oh, why is it flooded? By the time I got 9k, what's going on here? Totally not listening to me, is it? Maybe I'd mucked up the um signaling signals or something. No, it's alright. Alright, so we got um we got the prototype Agnea with this one, which seems to be good. We had this extra step in though. So let me copy the step and bring it over to Andragora. Uh, where is the 
docking, it's over here. The crane is on the red one. Yeah, I've done a bit of a change to the logic, haven't I? Because this is pulling. I definitely don't want that A signal going through. I have to recopy from um, Ignair. What do we do anyway? We did, we, I did tie up the. We did tie the logic up. I was copied over. When I get like a universal one, then I can make a blueprint. So let's go grab this first. What the difference is. Um, done some wiring changes. Jeez, this wiring here this is that. This is this is much messier. Go on red wire. To the back of that. That's right. And then we got. What's this thing here? Oh yeah, we got rid of that stuff, didn't we? Um, yeah, so I still want to pass the, the signal from the red from this, back of this, over this, so it's just red now instead of green. A little bit annoying, that's right. Are there reds there? Oh, there. Oh no, but then that's gonna be. I'm gonna swap that one round too. Actually, we don't need to do and do that. We just. Oh, I'm an idiot. We just need to do that. Swap it that way. Right, and like so. Go. Got the right requests. Now what else was wrong? That wasn't supposed to be there. That's gone. This one here, what's this minus one business? That was the new thing for this. I still need that. That's like a duplication of this thing. But we need to we need to input this for this. Being back into that. So I might take this out. This one's gonna go over here somewhere. And then this can go in that. Get that out. That goes in the back of that. And that. Okay. So we filled out the things. This should now. Once it gets the A signal, it'll feed it through and do the opposite thing. Now the. This thing needs to be plugged in again. Yeah, it's just a need of wanting it, so... You can just grab that as well. And the signal is going to be green on the front. Why well, has got 5 million? That's not what we wanted. We're missing... Oh, we're missing something. We had another... We had a constant combinator from Agnair. Who was that? Did we? No, we did. Back here, but... I've done something wrong. Let's do this thing here. Go in two directions. One's that way. We need to send this through to the, to the location, but then it's... Got a little mess coming through, and then we've got this one. Why is it on 5 million though? It's got negative 5 million from that. I think I need another one for that one. It's got like contamination from this 
red wire here. Um, hmm. Why is this one so much cleaner? It worked out so well. This is a cancelling out that and it goes through the clamp, which is basically that. Someone's got this extra step with these two. There's nothing to do with that. They need to be clean as well though. To cancel out oh, the negative one of this thing. But this is inheriting the red wire problem. I just need a green wire between it rather than red sharing. Green wire that instead. Yeah, that's better. That sharing logic kind of mucks it up. But then it's okay. It's a bit messy, but um, I think this should be able to load it when uh, there's no ships here. It loads. As soon as the ship arrives, it cancels it out and goes back to zero. And then these, these things start going at the same time and the ship starts grabbing from this. So good little preloader for... Um, Goodies. A lot of stuff here too. Nothing's getting through. Ah, oh, because we've got Planet ID 1. Shit. Yeah, it's not ideal. We can't have Planet ID 1. Where's the actual signal? There's no O, there's no o signal. That's the problem. Um, why is it even connected to the back of that anyway? I don't think it should be. You got the confused, I believe. Yeah, this should not go to that, and this should. And this O is different. This is an O 1179, but it's not an O, it's actually a 1. There we go. So now we got a new signal going through. We new cancelling logic out. This is not requesting shit. This is okay. That's 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 looking pretty good. Might be a bit much going on, but let me save and delete this now. with the blueprint maybe but I'd like to space out a bit more because it's kind of tight it's really difficult to read these after like the fact like when I come back to some of my things I'm like I can't play factory for a while I'm like uh what was I doing okay so is it getting the signal it says we're gonna O one and O again we're just gonna get O until we've cleared it out now why isn't it uh launching four ticks we're missing this 5k steam tick oh is that because i took it off i think i manually took it off that's why yeah should be okay now i'm not sure about this resource we got a proper train I don't actually want to bring it all back here, to be honest. I mean, maybe we should bring it to like a a brand new place to build stuff. Like a prod module place or something. What's the edge of the star system? This is looking tidy though. I was going to clean that up. I think I like that red switch over for this. But as long as it's not jumping in and out. We're actually going places, it probably doesn't matter. Extra signals aren't the end of the world. It's quite a small ship though, it's only uh, 858. We could make it, um... Well, we could make it smaller. A lot, of, a lot of empty tiles on the ship, we can definitely have more cargo. But then I have more problems, because the bots will be busy busy.
don't think I can do anything to the ship though, it seems like quite ideal. We could early game it with a different belt there, I guess, but we can go for iron engines as well instead. Or even like uh, rocket fuel, or whatever. Let's see if it works this time. Last time it um, was jumping around, wasn't wasn't very pretty. One hundred seventy-five. We're going quite fast, though. I guess that is quite close in the star system. Do I even have a uh, a throttler on the speed? We do divide by D, so should drop the speed and astro belts. Not that we need to. Or anything. I think it depends if we're small enough. Mostly fine. Where are we stealing from? My own ship. We start stealing bots. Now I don't currently have um, the prep on this planet. We could have a train that preps it actually. That'd be even better. Though having a prep on the whole planet would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Like a recycling prep for the whole planet, that seems a bit silly. And the bots that's doing it is probably good enough. Let's take excess stuff that's sitting around. It would be nice if we start taking stuff in chests, like this sort of stuff. But that, that's when you like drill down, like what's actually overflowing here. You get stuff like, you know, the ores, I don't think we have to worry about. I like barrels, we should, you know, on-site recycle. Scrap probably should be just added. Regardless, I don't think we should recycle scrap every location. That's too much effort. Though we could add a, a scrapper. I mean... What do you get from scrap anyway these days? I mean, that's not the worst outcome, just the recycle it. Yeah. But then you get the heavy oil. And when you kind of fill up on oil, I think. I believe I'm filling it. Maybe not. What is that one empty anyway? No sand, oh. No prod modules, we got thousands of prod modules, yep. Where's prod, where's prod threes I got here? I got decent amount. We got no red chips because we got no green chips because we got no Stones. This planet's like really low on stone. I, I, I seem to turn it into, into glass. And the glass gets turned into uh, low density. I mean, it's not a bad outcome, but... Um, you know, should we be making all these low densities? Like, they're pretty good. 191,000. I guess we use them to make these though, so... Keep those stuttery cannons going. Once this plant runs out, though, currently this plant gives me a lot of uh, iron and steel ingots and copper ingots. Got a slight little stuttery cannon base here going. I mean, the copper's kind of pretty good, but I mean, we haven't grabbed any new iron for a while. I mean, these ones here, like. Could be on um, prod trees. Can make them a bit more efficient. Some steely boys. We're going low power for this, these builds. Just, this is nice, but we could go fully productivity here. We'd, we'd actually save a lot of resources. I might ship though, this thing gets monstrous amount of bots. We're at 300 bots. We have to do that um, bot damage. We didn't research for a while, so. We're trying to grab the spaceship platform. 
Why? Where the hell did that come from? How's that a thing? Huh? It says we got 43,000 spaceship platform here. Where'd that come from? We already have 43,000 spatial platforms on this planet. I don't think so. It says you do though. Oh, you, you're trying to steal from me. Oh my god, it's reading this as a logistic network and it wants to thieve it. <laughs> Alright, thanks, my buddy. You're not stealing from my ship. That's funny. I mean, I mean it legit works, just takes you from, from logic network. Um. We're not taking too many uh, use your aim anymore, which is nice. But I think this is a success. I mean, once it's done this planet, how do I rule out that, you know, the signals... I need a, a signal shut off, like, when the number's too low. So currently I've got 50,000 number shut off at 90. I have the ship... Oh, actually, if this other ship left, it would actually turn off. We'd actually drop down to, uh... Oh no, we're still 53k. We're almost, we're almost at the, you know, don't send a ship here situation. We're only sending, like, three trips. Not bad, not bad. I, 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 I don't mind that. I think this is a... We can actually add the other blueprint in. And we prep, prep load it. I'm not sure I need to prep load. But for other planets, maybe it's a better idea. No, I should really, um, prep load on the, <laughs> the right hand side. So I should get a blueprint designed. Where the prep loading is here. The bots are flying this. We probably should get them the nice little, nice row ports too. Uh,. What are they called? These ones, the superchargers. Yeah, these ones, these are the good ones. I'm gonna put them right next to it or behind it. Maybe between. Very fine actually. Yeah, we do that. We get a print of this. We're not gonna grow the ship. It's probably gonna help on these bots, because these bots are stuffed. I think it's 50 minutes to research this, jeez. I mean, I guess it's 19,000 science packs. Yeah, the poor bots, they can't handle. So Andrew Goro's got the more up-to-date one. I'm just going to make sure we get, um... What signals? It's those two, right? I'm just reading the top of that. Oh, it's left. Of course it's left, okay. Which ones is it? Was it those two? It was those two, yeah. We don't need those three. But we do have to do wiring though, we have to get some poles. Oh, that's all good. One tile off. It's not too bad there. I think it's a standardized grid, so it should um, function. So we do is wire it up. And then we get a whole grid set up for this. We don't need to refuel anymore, so we can take that out. Um, it was the top of that one, the green... Was it? Top of this one, green wire. Oh no, the back of it. The back of it's a red wire. And the top of it... 
the green wire. Oh, that's confusing. I don't remember this. And this green one comes from that one. And that green one comes from that one. Jeez. So the back of it, top of it, and then the bot, and then the um. Back of it. Top of it. Bottom of it. I don't do that split though. It kind of works when you like right there. But I gotta pass three wires. Uh, they're different greens. The greens will contaminate. I can't really split it. So maybe if I can't. Yeah, maybe we don't bother with that. We'll just um. Keep it local. Keep it local. You guys can come down here. Be fine. How's your uh. Playing. Uh, maybe top side. The ship, my ship is here, but I can move my ship. Where's the ship dock? Looks like it's safe there to put it. Alright, let's get rid of the shields. Alright, let's just do the wiring. Slightly better location. Uh, we still want to have these available. Even two would be good. And we could have the other side still, but not the worst idea. Yeah, they'll be flying from the other side. I think six is okay. Okay, so then we're just gonna wire it up. So this is a negative one from the red wire. I can't remember. I can't remember. So I have to copy it. It's the only way to remember these things. All right, what are we doing? The green. It's going to the setters, so the output of the green. This is going to the setters. Oh no, don't, don't, don't you request a piece of shit. Oh man, you guys are being idiots. I can't see what's going on. Um, where's the red wire? I can't see. I'll get rid of you guys, maybe it'll make it look easier. the back. Back of that one goes to red. Okay. The back of that one. The chest. Now where's the final one? There's one final one. The green the top goes to the setters. Oh, we done that one. What, what's the other green then? There's a green in the back. Huh? Now the green top goes into this this thing, yellow. Is that green in the back here or is that the top? I can't even tell. I think my now is un unplug it or oh, no it worked or not. No it didn't. We did the wrong one before. Okay, it's fine. Yes, it's not the top. Look at this shit. What was it? Uh, back goes on greens. Top goes on yellow. And back. Back goes on blue. I mean, it's only requesting, um, everything else is under 5k now, is that right? Huh, it is. We're at 53k on the planet, so we've actually kind of... 
killed off a lot. Why was I requesting iron and copper plates though? Maybe that filter wasn't on. Oh, I guess the other planet had different filter. Hey, in the pots. In the pots. How you going? Um, I'm just trying to get a uh, a junking ship offline. This ship is actually just a a building ship. There's actually no logic on this one at all. The only logic is actually just for the power plant. And I think the stuff is like just for the robots to be available. But let's try to get this um yeah junker ship going. So I can cut and paste this on each planet. And we just have to change two settings. I change this setting to be the signal of the planet ID and this setting on things we don't want to send up but things we want to retain on the planet and whatever's over 5k gets junked and so it gets sent off world at least that's logic she where's my ship Not here, so it should be there, but it's not. That's lands already. Good thanks for seeing a look at others playing EC. Uh, Deep Space 3 and it feels like I'm close to having my life back. Yeah, Deep Space 3, you've, you've gone through uh, quite the journey to get there. That's, um, congrats. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's a long, it's a long journey. <laughs> it takes ages to get there. I think my ship went to uh, Andragora, actually. I don't think it went to uh, that one. Where's... Where is it? Is it in orbit? So this runs my second run. I was um, I was trying to build a computer to solve the Stargate this time, rather than um, an Excel spreadsheet. So I was building all these like little, you know, all the symbols for uh, the gate, and I built a computer to to get me the first um, symbol. But I couldn't figure out how to do the rest of it, so I ended up building this though. This is the 2D thing for the secret ending. Um, it's unique on every playthrough though, so this this is not a spoiler. Um, the fact that you can build this maybe is a big hint, but even even figuring out how to get to that part is quite a lot of steps. But I had, I had fun making the concrete actually, in the indentation and stuff. It does weird stuff when you do different uh, concretes. Yeah, I thought I was like, oh, let's go make some uh, spaceships then. So I'm just making spaceships, making a junker recycler. Seems to be working out. We got all the stuff from one planet so far. Why is it trying to launch? What the fuck? That's why it's bone. Had five conditions ticked. But apparently that signal there went to zero. How's that possible? Huh? How is that ticking? What the fuck? How's that launching? It's supposed to, it's supposed to be five ticks, right? Which means that that's hit zero. How much fuel it's been wasting? Yeah, that tick five for a second. It's losing the signal on on this uh, somehow. How's that happening? How's it losing signal? There's no power problems. But it's supposed to launch when this purple signal runs out. It's zero, but of course.
the fuck? It didn't even fire a signal. But this got to five. We got a we got a stray signal somewhere. I was wasting a lot of uh, a lot of fuel doing that, but one, two, three, four, five. It ticks up for a second, then it goes away again. But does it make sense though? Because uh, I don't think this complicated. Any time I get too deep into commoners, I feel like I won't work. Only using ships for neck. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I wouldn't do. Wouldn't have done ships and um, until other people showed me how to do it, and I was like, oh, it's not so bad. Oh man, because it's really needs chests here, and they get to zero occasionally. <coughs> we should launch now. What's it doing? I could probably have to read the belts, that's what I'm doing wrong. What, why is it docking again? It shouldn't have docked then. It was taken off. Do you find using anti fuel is better? Mine sat idle for too long and burned through too quickly, so I switched back to energy beaming. Um... Yeah, it does, does, I mean, I, I start making, I got these ships for instead. I find them really good. And I use the iron. These are my knack haulers. Um. So they're good too. But this one I was like, uh, I've got, I got like thousands of this stuff. 7,400 canisters, so. This one's on the canisters. We've done something wrong with the logic here though, so this thing's like landing and taking off like an idiot. And I don't know what I've done, but I keep thinking I've fixed up whatever wire I've crossed somewhere. But really it should just give me a destination, go there. But it's not going. What's that anyway? This planet, yes, yeah, that's where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go to the next place. Yeah, so this is like a uh, pre, like a pre-launch checklist. So it checks all these conditions. If it's if it's okay, it's supposed to then launch and go to the location. Pass that through to the to this. But for some reason, I've stuffed it up somewhere. This thing keeps launching and. Docking. And I don't know what I've done wrong. I might just re decouple this anyway. Um, we'll turn this off. I feel annoyed about it. Let's see if this decoupling this helps it out. Anyway, that's uh... Oh, that's probably fine to have it. I'll just take that off the green. The speedometer is still okay, but the docking clamps are now isolated on signals. I think add-on power poles can be good for troubleshooting. Yeah, I've just, I don't know, something's gone funny with the, um, past three, so it's got five ticks here, so it should launch, which is correct. And it's got the destination correctly, just this one here, the planet. Um, the problem is that, as soon as it gets to orbit, it's, like, it doesn't go anywhere, and this just redocks. It doesn't feel like flying, I don't know why, it just goes, there's a, there's a docking clamp logic up here. I've done something wrong with that. I'm going to try, try one more time. Rewire it now. No. Um. Yeah, so the... This destination goes through here, and it gets all the t 
tick boxes, this red wire goes through to the console here. There's something else that's um Oh, it's got five ticks though. Why has it got five ticks? Maybe that's a pro well. No, it's got input. That's that's fine. As long as it's not output. It's okay. Yeah, it's like it's crossed over somewhere anyway. Um, but yeah, I was having fun with uh, this is my this is my ice hauler ship. It looks more complicated than this, but the best thing about the ship is it's a hundred percent streamlined. And the idea I think you need to do triangles. So you see this here, this triangle here, and then this triangle here. Right, you just do that sort of thing and you get like a good streamline. Yeah, so my understanding is it's just this height to this this depth is a streamline. And then this height to this depth is a streamline. Um, because nothing else here is going on. Um, and then making sure there's nothing square at the front. And then more than, like, 40% or something in the top. Being straight or something. That has a negative, even 3%. So, I don't know, I could just do this a bit further along. Hey, Sergeant Dog, how's it going? Oh, thanks for the follow. The pots. Yeah, you might be able to do um, a real long ship, like, you know, a big, big, big flying wing with 100% streamline. Um, I think it's as, as long as it's like these corners, like this, these bits are like up and down, it should be okay. At least it's my understanding. Because there's nothing here that's, that's pretty much a giant. Like besides these like spikes, it's pretty much a nice square front. I'm not really wasting too much real estate. Yeah, I might try. I'm gonna diagnose this console a bit more. So that looks okay there. Um, we're only reading, the idea is you're only reading green signal out, so there's no red signal touching this besides those two words added just to make sure they're not crossing. That didn't seem to solve it, so this it's more about the um, the checklist. So the checklist here, like firing five Um, well, these two here go in, this is, this is like a speedometer based on asteroid density, and this is an automatic docking clamp, so they go in to there, and the other one is this, these two here, this is like leaving my destination, this is leaving Navas, and they both fire into there as well. Problem is that, so this one here is ticking like with ready to leave right now, which is good. And as soon as I take this on, we'll, we'll launch. Yeah, so we're currently at 23. Um, we're at A23 currently. And this is like, this is when we go back to go to 23. But this, for some reason, this one here, this planet, actually, hang on. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to be planet going to planet twenty, but come back to all but twenty three. Um, I think what's happening is like this thing here. When we get to orbit, it does make a twenty three, so it's firing. But then this is actually not supposed to fire because there's nothing inside here. So, and this should definitely have it so that we get the signal through here. I can change it to green signal. I don't think it'll make a difference though, but we could change it from red to green. Should make a difference because they're both um, the same. They merge together. Let's try again. I 
What? What's this that? Red to green? Really? Huh. I didn't like the fact that it was a different color. That was it, just swapping that from red to green. I thought it was add some together when did that, but it must have um marked up its destination by not being in the same colour, not passing it through. That's weird. Okay. I feel so good now. Yeah, so the idea of this ship is um we go to the planet that this thing receives as a junker signal. And I use the green green to filter. Um, so every planet I'm going to add to the junker list is going to have a different number. So we, we do, you know, 0, 1, 1, 2, 1, uh, 1, 1, 6, 1, 8, and then 2, 5, 3, 2, 8, and then 3, whatever. And the idea is that um, because it's the anything signal, it actually creates like a list and it always puts one at the top. And that, so only one signal ever gets through, regardless of what's in the, how big the list is. So one of the list is, each of them pass signal through to say, okay, we, we received it, we've got somewhere to go, that's the checklist to launch. And the other one is to convert the signal I received back to a planet ID, so it goes to a planet. And currently that is my Vulcanite world. And so we, we're, um, I just put this prep loader, I hope it's working, so no, it's still requesting we're on the planet, it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to cancel it out, I've done something wrong. So it's just going back and forth like an idiot. It's supposed to turn the signal off. Um, so I did something wrong here. This is it. This means you have no requests when we're down here. Oh, I haven't, have, have I not plugged that in? Oh, I haven't plugged that in. Oh, that's fine. Okay, we'll plug that in. It should fix itself. That's what we do with the rockets. They're not connected. It is, but... It's supposed to be finding a negative signal and cancelling out the request, but... It seems to be like a... S it's just like a... Maybe it's a tick problem, like one one's getting the tick of a positive request, and then it's seeing another tick of a negative request. And they're not arriving the same tick. Because these, these chests are not supposed to request anything once we, um... At the planet. That was a fail. I thought we'd done that right, but that was the first test of that. That's right. I mean, we're still getting stuff on the ship, and it's not going anywhere. Just sort of um, gets collected. Just knowing that these things are going back and forth, they shouldn't have anything in the, um, this request here. You know, I can do like an add a higher number to it. So currently it's times it by minus one, right? But maybe I can times it by minus two. Or maybe my times it by minus three, minus four. So it's still triggering, even though I got this massive high negative number now, it's still going above. So I know it's a tick problem. Now, so using rockets between planets seems like so much work to set up something like this. It's, it's the same amount of work as rockets to me. Um, rockets you're going to do... You're not going to do like all that shopping list logic. I'm sure you've done the shopping list logic. Um, typical... Rocket... Has like your items. And then you just do, do that. And that's your shopping list, right? Shopping list, shopping list. And then it's out there, this goes to your whatever, and you just, you just do that over and over again. 
And then you gotta like do all this logic around the rocket cargo to not oversend and then calculate what's in the cargo silo and all that sort of stuff. It ends up being the same as what I'm doing here. When you get the fancy rockets, you're just basically doing what a spaceship can do. Now the thing with the spaceship though, you gotta counteract these console signals. That's taking a bit of effort, but it seems like I can't fully nullify this uh, request because even though it's fully us fully negative. It doesn't care that it's it's it is. They were wired up wrong. Let's have a look. It must be a tick problem, I think. Hmm. Hang on, is this even correct? It's just... This times it all by a negative 4 and then it's got an A signal. Just input count through. Yeah, that should be, should be working, but... It's still requesting, which is a bit doing... A bit dumb. My poor bots, you see, they're kind of... Uh, doing their thing. Yeah, I've got, I got too many commenters to be honest. Now there's a great mod for this mod pack if you haven't used it. Um, it's a blueprint commentator. I use this for colonizing planets. So it gets blueprint reader mod. What you do is you, you put the blueprint reader blueprint inside. Like say you build like a, a mall basically on another planet. And then you blueprint that. And you put that blueprint inside this blueprint reader. And then you set that as a... Yeah, this is a thing, so you can actually set your payload to be all your blueprints. So you can actually pre-build your planets. So once you get one planet, you know, nicely done. That was the main use of my um, rockets. Also colonized planets. Originally it was like for setting all the stuff to orbit before I had space elevator. I was just kind of setting a bit of this, a bit of that. Um... A lot of constant commenters. And then the original rocket, which is basically nothing. We just... I don't know what we're sitting on this one. It's just, um... Science packs, I guess. But you end up using, like, these sort of things, where you set filters on a commenter. Based on a whole bunch of stuff. But I, I... This whole run, though, I've tried to not do rockets. I was trying to do delivery cannons and spaceships only. Just rockets for colonization. But seeing like a payload to colonize a planet is, is really good. And I use rockets for exploration as well. There's something cool that you can use rockets for, you can explore. So I, I flew to like all these star systems and rockets. Uh, one way trips. Not this one, but um, a lot of them. Like when I flew out, I go like to here and like. See, I've, see, I've been to this one planet in this planet system. So what happens is you rocket to like this orbit, and then from here you can land on the planet, uh, and then it goes to the nearest planet. Been this one. Yeah, I've been here. Of course, I've cleaned the server since. I uh, deleted it, but oh. Yeah. But yeah, it's real. I, I kind of enjoy the exploration part of this game. But it's not really encouraged that much. I think most people play this mod and don't really explore. There's no real, no real need or desire to. But I think I'm like. I kind of like the idea of a survival factorio. And this ship looks, looks more complicated than it is. It's just a bunch of systems combined. And the hard part is making sure your wires don't cross, which I was doing. It looks like we worked though. It looks like we managed to uh, 
get a whole bunch of extra stuff that we'll see on that planet. I think Agnea is now a bit cleaner. Let's have a look. We've still got too many copper plates, but we'll, 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 that's on our filter list. So is Vulcanite, and so is Ice, and so is Iron Plate. So I think we're good. We've kind of cleaned it down. So I mean, we could grab this, these smaller items, but I think it's fine. We can leave this stuff here. I think my other playthrough, we dropped it right down to like a um, hundred items or something. Everything over that, we just took. But the problem is I got some builds. Like I've got a transport belt build. It makes 2400. And so we're always going to have too many of them. You can see here, the filter is saying there is nothing required to be requested, so it's just occasionally putting Vulcanite blocks in now. I think cleaning up lands are on my radar. Yeah, fair enough. To me, I was like, because I want to make sure that my um, core mining keep going. So I'd get like these chests that like, fill up with iron and copper plates, and it was annoying to like try to figure out find the use of the resources, right? Um, because I, I like the core mining aspect of this game. This 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 is like this is ma it is magic. Even though I'm not even prodding it, I'm not even doing it like speeding it up. Yeah, the other thing with this this playthrough I was trying to do was try to see how much um I can get away with belts rather than um upgrades of trains and stuff. So this is all level one belts. I was trying to um I was trying to like delivery cannon and little belts. And so the idea is that I can just remotely build uh, this whole thing is a giant almost robotic network. And I don't have to be here, I can just, I can just drag my grid across and build whatever I need. It worked out, it did some nice blueprints of this sort of thing, like these copper ingots, but there are a lot of yellow belts, that's for sure. There are heaps. Um, this one here is like my erudite world, right? And uh, I mean, we set up like these like nice little ingot makers. We've got like one delivery can receiver. But um, it's all belt, you know, spaghetti belt, long ass belts, no trains. And all this here is just uh, one rocket to build all this because um, it's like a pre-built base I figured out. I call it my delivery cannon base. It's not very good, but it does its job. So we got run out of green chips. But yeah. Bit of fun. I was, tr I was trying to I was trying to do like a, a low effort would have made run like where I like do a planned run and do low tech stuff and then after like 30 hours of uh, playtime I was like oh I just carried on and now I'm at, now I'm at the base the uh, Deep Space 3 which is the same same area you're at uh, Nipots it's the Deep Space 3 oh no we're docking and taking off again piece of shit why I don't get it I think there's this purple thing in these chests. I, I was supposed to read the um, belts, that's where I went wrong. That's right. I didn't finish that last time. I'm dock again. What was that one anyway? You gotta read belts. I think I'm a die train guy. Yeah, fair enough. I think most people are. I like um like having one two trains. 
They're quite fun. I need some real monster brains in this game though. And why does this keep firing though? That's what I don't get. So it's not supposed to launch unless this signal here is zero. So it's somehow getting an extra tick signal to here. Maybe this tick becomes more than one. That's just a good point. Yeah, we got we got a stray tick. I don't know where it's coming from. Hang on, is this even connected? What the fuck? It's not even connected. How's it got five ticks already then? One, two. come on, game. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. I didn't see the other one I did ages ago. Gee whiz, man. We got this one down here. We're just blind as a bat. I mean, it's fully my fault, and this is supposed to be six. And now I won't just jump around, there. Because now I won't hit five anymore. So this was, this, no, it wasn't that one anyway. It was, um, I guess like the anti would get back to 49k. And tick five, so take off and then go under and then yeah. yeah, yeah. Now as this thing's positive, it won't go anywhere. I ain't gonna get six rages. It's ringing on the belts as well, properly. But yeah, I do know the um space elevators, I had good fun with them. I um I didn't do much of the Nequitite ones, I got like a little Nequitite train just just for the, um, these two ships. Um, I did I did like the uh, Nequitite, that was fun. I got a real small build though. This is the Nequitite, I got this little loop here. A Nequitite train. Got two, three, three of the ore and then one of the resource to top up from orbit. Because we've got methane ice coming from Catalyst 2. And then we got the um the tight reagent coming from the another ship. And we kind of There's the whole build of the Necrotite there. That, that's it. I mean it's pretty small. I mean we've got prod nines in it though, so not too bad. This one's got some prod sixes, but um Hate Ingots. I'm not really researching. Um Yeah, this thing is again just uh it's like a delivery cannon for the bit of spice. And then otherwise it's not not too bad. This is a big mixture of all the items. It used to be way easier doing this before the changes as well. I mean I've always run out of space. This thing's uh that's crazy, we've got 30,000 prod modules up here to convert to convert to prod sixes. How many do you actually need to make a prod six? Not that many, I don't think. You need... Well, it doesn't tell you. I know it just goes up each time by two, right? So it's two to the five, is that right? Two to five? Put my out in the middle of my base and ends up having to refactor a bunch of stuff to add an extra rail for throughput. Yeah, I got I got two space elevators. So I got that's this is the Nequitite one, the actual one for the all resources up here, and it just does these one two trains that go around circles. I use bots to fill up these uh, warehouses, and all I do is do a a little shopping list in each train because they've got limitations on how many inserters they can do. So these things kind of they jam up jam up a bit more than five items. 
on the request of us. So I've kind of broken it down of a little shopping list. This has got more than five, but there's different um, items I need in orbit. And it checks whether they're in shortage or not, and then, uh, yeah, it sends it, the train picks it up. Well, the trains aren't really busy very often. These guys are waiting for something to bring up. Um, but we got we got like uh, we used the we got two fluid trains. We got a water lubricant and then a liquid rocket, trial and gas. Though this one's actually a um, this original one had previously had everything here. It looks we know weirdly enough we're bringing up prod modules which are kind of strange. But we're very short on stone. All but is dying for stone. Yeah, the rest of my rail grid's not connected to this. This is this is the whole rail grid. The rest of the rail grid's like uh, oil and stone and coal. That's it. Nothing else is on on the rail grid. Let's go. I mean, it's mostly now just for oil. I think this oil's infinite, so I just have you know these sort of efficient things going forever. And then I have a train that turns on and off the stop based on. Whether these are good enough uh, resource for a stack. So you can just do like a. There's like a. Uh, you can just pace this down, it works quite well. This black signal, this is measuring the fluid. So we know we have 10,000 oil and these. It turns the station on. This stuff is more for um, ore. Like one's for the wagons and one's for the stack sizes. So I can, based on the cargo normally, of the station, so you can turn it on and off. Because I've made it much smarter um, than it used to be. I didn't used to be able to do like this thing here. I mean, this station's got some stone, but when you look at this, the station's turned off. Zero to zero train limit because of, um, it's re 920 stone, right? And divides it by the black signal. The black signal is 50, so it gives 19. And then it goes in the back of this, and it goes this divided by a grey signal. A grey signal is like cargo stack, like, like wagon stacks, so it's 80. And of course, there's not enough for a wagon stack, so there's no there's no red signal. And so the station gets no train limit. So the train limit is red signal. The station's turned off. Doesn't get to, doesn't get to do anything. So I mean it's pretty much, it's mined out its patch. So once it once it's mined a patch out, it just turns off forever. I mean these these ones here will never get picked up. But that's fine. Like that's like a thousand thousand stone. Who cares? Sure there's a little bit of stone here, but I'm not gonna. I mean I actually can technically remotely build that because I've got a big giant rail on my robot network. I'm real. Uh, I like robots. So I don't have to run around myself. I can like go on uh put some miners down. Be fine. Someone will fly down. Yeah there they go, there they go. Little boys coming down with their miners. Yeah, there you go. Going south for the winter. But yeah, I did this because um I don't like the like all the other planets, you're not on them, and you can't build stuff. It's, it's horrible. You gotta fly there and you know, maintain it. But most of the planets are quite small. Like this one's just a Cryonite world, and so you don't have to do that much. You know, like these tiny little Cryonite builds. You importing like heavy oil, and you're way way laughing really. I make sure that the um the core mining goes so it can create its own defense and stuff. Plants have full ro robot coverage? Oh yeah. Yeah that's good eh. Anyway, I think we're um good for uh, this build. The only problem is that it's saying go to this planet. 
I think that's the second one. Because the first one's turned off now. I believe that's, um... I think it's a Andragora now. Rather than Agna. And this one's off. The friggin' the look. Yeah, it's at 40... Is that... Hey, that's weird. It's saying 42k and then goes to 47k. I guess because it tips up over 5k occasionally because it's... That's the cutoff. But this is currently off. There's not 50,000 items here. So this, 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 uh... Planet has been turned off. I might as well leave. I mean, I could pick up some stuff myself, but... What's worth taking from this planet? Um... I don't think it's fine. I think it's lost. Actually, that's probably my, on my spaceship. We'll go to Andragora. Any planets you're operating on? Um. Good luck. These are my main planets here. So, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 services. Plus, Nowus, Nowus, Astro Belt, Astro Belt, and Finestra. Um, so like 17 services, but you know, um, ones that are external is just, yeah, these ones. But I got. I've got two um, Cryonite because um, this moon is just so small. It wasn't quite enough flow rate. So I went to a big, big, um, a big one instead. There's a like, better core mine. And I just dropped the plague, plague missile down. You got to get the plague missiles, eh? That's so good. No biters then. This, this, even. Right. This one's like. Just uh, making War Chrono, I think. I mean, looking so much like sand and glass and stuff. But of course, I got delivery cannons of this stuff rather than um, rockets. So, all my plants have to make their own. Uh, shells. Did I use water for a little while? I just got kind of bored of biters. Ah, oh, fair enough. I just didn't colonize anywhere with biters. I just avoided it. And the ones I didn't avoid, I just I had to wipe them out myself. I don't know which one it was. There's a planet in my system. I think it was Gapleon. There's no threat here, but we uh Yeah, I think we wiped them out, but we've actually cleared the server since. I remember. Why is this one not docking? Drop cargo. Oh man, why is that always a thing? Oh look at that. Look at this. All these dead bots, eh? It's always polluting. I never understand how to fix that. How do I like deal with that? I mean, I'd have to like have enough spare bots to in cargo space to clean that up. Remember the dead bots though, Jesus. Of a graveyard. I think there's no there's 40 construction bots here, but um Made her a bit busy. I don't know. There's like a... a little, look at that, 106 million iron. And then 42 million copper. Got these little... My, these are like my tiny little starter ships. 215 cargo. It's like a little ice hauler. Oh wow, we got heaps of ice here now. We've done good. This stuff's not getting picked up though.
I don't know why not. Look at these guys being sad, just sort of waiting to die. Little dudes. I mean, we could we could add a storage, but. We don't have that available. Build. It says get zero out of forty available. What, what are they doing? Oh, this thing's I filled. Yeah. Oh, whatever. They can just die. Are we going somewhere? Oh fuck, we got the same problem again. What? I thought we fixed this. So now it's going to be the same problem when we got the six ticks. Um, wonder why? I wonder what, it's something weird. Maybe it's just like this part here. It shouldn't make a difference though. This data training, the wire. Hey Bluesy. I just a few storage warehouses on every surface full of a bunch of random crap. Yeah. That's what, I try to avoid the storages so they don't do that, but then of course you need them. That's why I'm starting to do junker stuff. So I can afford to um store stuff. I don't know what I've done wrong here, it's just, this this just frustrates me. So it gets like the signal, it's got the signal right now. It's supposed to fly off into the sunset and be happy. But it's definitely not happy. This is definitely not zero. Because this has got nothing. It's a false positive situation. I think it'll be zero when we in orbit too. But then that would that would trigger that that's not enough. That should just should dock. Oh, it's frustrating. But it solved it. I got some rogue rogue signal somewhere. I keep thinking it's this, but it's definitely not the dock and clamp. At least I don't think it is. The front of that goes... In the back. Is there two wires going to this? Oh no, we need that one there. Maybe because that was a red. I might make that red as well. Not that we need to, but let's keep it the same. It's easy to see as well. So many signals. So not the ones are going top down. Can't quite see it. There's still two going to the back of this, which is fine. It's the fact that. This other end is not working out though. Um, hmm. What are the blue signals? That when we launch, we st should still get it right. I think equally zero is a problem. Equals one should be the actual. And this is the problem here, because this this is always going to be true. I think times by one makes more sense.
No. I seem to read a zero signal, that's all I need. It's only plus zero. In the first place. That was the point of it. Um That's fine like that, but I think it's false positing. I think that's what's happening. We need a signal, not a zero signal. The fact this is always going to be true is not good. Having have equal one is a good thing. So I need to check. Uh... I don't really need another one of these. I don't really want a second one, but we could do a second one. Where's that wire down to anyway? Oh, we jump over that to jump over. Yeah, that's not a read. It's just a distance problem thing. I'm okay, Bluesy. I must uh, finish work for the year. So I go back on the 8th of Jan, which is nice. I get two weeks of um, not having to work. So I can do what I want, which is always a nice thing. Let's get rid of this wire here. And rewire that into there. Move it. Wire in the back. I really want to separate it out, but um, I don't know how to do this. Sounds like some all nighters playing Factorio. Oh, I don't think so, Bluesy. I'm not. I'm not a youngin anymore. I never. Um, when I was like, you know, my in my twenties, I I would at one point I played this uh, game called Europa Two. The Europa is up to Europa Four now, and I played it for fifty hours nonstop. I was like, what the hell? And then I went to a party and got drunk, and um, I was like, spooking out because I was like a bit sleep deprived. Um. I used to like enjoy like seeing how long I can stay awake for. I think one week I managed to have like 20 hours of sleep in the whole week. That was like my record. But I was like, you know, a bit out of it. <laughs> you know, the things you do when you got spare time. Time to waste. Rookie number. <laughs> How few hours have you done in a week, uh, Posey? I mean, I don't encourage it, but I'm just curious. I hope to be young again. Yeah, nipots. Okay, so I need a signal. Um, what am I doing? I think arithmetic. It is arithmetic. Oh, we do a, we just do a decider actually. I think this one's okay. Um because that's always gonna be because that's a high number, it's fine. Whereas the other one do something else. I was close to 72 once, and I regret that. 72 hours, wow. That's intense, man. It must have been pretty bad. Uh, H uh, equals zero, output one. Yeah, I think that's the way I do. Uh, actually, we'll grab it off the back of this. This one's gonna pass down. Yeah. Not ideal, but we'll hog on there. We've got a signal this time. Why is it not giving me an output? The fuck? Oh, 
Oh wait. I couldn't remember those tags. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Why is there no signal? Here, Frank, if all inputs are met additional output, true. I guess we'll do red. That's fine. We're getting a signal at least. But why not always? Well. Alright, so let's check it out. Let's see if we accidentally fixed it. No, we're an idiot. Why is it not working, guys? Help me out. What have I done wrong? I think uh, Nipots is on the on the clue before. I have, I have mixed feelings on the benders in my twenties nowadays. You know, you're everyone's like a everyone's a byproduct of their environment, right? Like you can't fault your environment. I mean, imagine going against the grain of your environment for your entire life. It'd be a pretty miserable life, right? You always be wondering what you missed out on. <laughs> no, Dyson Sphere is where my brain hurt. Really? Is Dyson Sphere difficult now? I found Dyson Sphere like no thinking at all. It's just like more like um click 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 drag drag to click click drag drag click click drag drag. Pass for learning, not for regretting. Yeah. Get, get all those, uh, get those rookie mistakes out of the way, right? Alright, this, this, this looks good to me. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I've done wrong. It's just, <laughs> it's just not working out. It's, uh, maybe, maybe we draw a green signal. What's this one like? No, nah, it's good. Um. Even each equals... Each equals zero output one. That should actually be passing a signal right now. Each does equal zero. There is literally nothing there. There are literally each signal is zero. So I don't get it. Why is it not giving me a signal from that? I mean, uh, this one here, I know it's because when you got nothing, it gives you one. When you got something, it gets like you get one as well. It's true when there are no input inputs. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> the maid that shit that shoots you, it's annoying me. Yeah, I tried it out for like an hour, Bluesy. And uh, I, w I, walked up, I walked up to the fog, the fog, the fog tower and like went, Hey, hey robots, what's up? And they got like infinite robots. And I was like, oh, infinite robots, really? Um, you guys are cheating. And I was like, oh, I don't feel like a grind. I was like, hmm. Nah, I'm not going to play a grindy game. I'll play another game that grinds. This one. <laughs> what I keep getting wrong with my poor little bots. How do I normally do a zero signal? Like, what do I, what am I doing wrong here? Like, uh... I, my brain is not working. I mean, I could pass the signal in it just to say if it equals that signal, then it's... It's a green. I just do a constant combinator and put it in there. Just a dummy, like a dummy variable. That seems a dumb solution. It gets, gets through and destroys my base across the world. Yeah, I got into control, Lamo. <laughs> I think it's hard to help troubleshoot via stream. Since so when ju my junior programmers ask me to help them, and I don't stop scrolling up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to like to zone into what's going on. All I know is um, I'm trying to get a signal from when these are zero on a signal, and when they're not zero on on, on the signal. Um, and I thought this was gonna work for both, but when I do it, because of the way when you take off or land, if it's a zero signal, it'll pass through anyway, so you can't have a have a check. On it equals zero because it always equals zero which means you get a false positive which means you're just gonna it's just gonna it's not gonna work no that shouldn't work anyway because this thing goes 23 we're not 23 when we launch so 
I don't understand. Something, something else is going wrong. But I think it's to do with this tick box thing. This thing. I mean, it could be this. Maybe this is not signaling correctly. But I think it's working there. It looks like it's okay. Um. Yeah. So when it's equals, when there's nothing in these chests, it should go not a different signal. Uh, I mean, really, we should just read it, like, read each gradient equal to 1, and the other one is just each equals 0. Uh, but I think 0 just doesn't work, so I'm after a negative number. I'm going to do the dumb negative number. We'll apply a negative number down here. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do something stupid. <coughs> uh... There we go, we got a signal. Um, they're trying to detect that the chests are empty. Yes, but it can't be reading a zero signal. So it's going to be empty, but not reading zero as a, as a signal check. If I say this is equal to zero, it, it's a, it'll, it'll bug out because of the way this thing works. So I have, to, I have to create like a dummy variable, I think, to make it work. And this one now because I tell me variable. I could cancel it out with another one. The green signal going to the back of it to cancel it out. Oh, that's so stupid. I don't think this is the solution. It feels, it feels like it's really, it's really dumb what I'm doing. But that works in theory. We've got it, we've got a signal. Alright, let's test it out. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll see if that's the problem. Not the problem. Okay. That was fine. We could have left it as it was then. There's something else wrong. It's, maybe it's a dock and clamp. I don't think that was the problem though, but... Maybe it is. I still don't know why it's only a problem, it didn't used to be. Why is that thing going to the back? So the clamp here is going to the back of this. Why is it going to the back of that? Actually, why is that going to the back of that? I don't think it should. Let's get, get rid of that. We don't need that. Test again. I'm just guessing at this point. No, not that. No, we don't need that. I mean, that was a good thing to remove, but... Um... It's the problem that the ship's not going to destination, right? It's, it's still a negative number when we get to orbit. It's, it's not moving straight away, which means that this signal here, the destination, May I typo the destination? That could be a thing. I could have typoed the planet, so we're not going. It's not planet doesn't exist. Um, so it's meant to be eleven seventy nine. Let's have a look. What's the number we've got on here? Yep, eleven seventy nine. Yeah, that's correct. This should definitely be um. Coming here. There's a junker, yeah. It's all good this end. Yo 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 I mean we always have that swarm safety. And that means we get But science died, what happened? We ran out of space science packs. Really? Really? Huh? 
these things. Ah, oh, except no stone. You see a blueprint and I try to look. Ah. Uh, I think it's alright. It's, it's gonna be fine. I've just done something stupid. I've, I've got an extra wire or something. Maybe we shouldn't have one. Um. I still think this is a bit sus. I might, I mean, it should make a difference, but this should be fine. That should make a no difference, but maybe it does. I'll test it. It shouldn't make a difference though. No, nope, no difference. Um hmm. I'll just have that. That number in here anymore, which is good. The problem is, um, I think this destination is like not getting through, even though it's supposed to go through. That, that planet destination is supposed to go in a similar merry way. This thing here. Something's going wrong there, I think. It might be a tick problem. Maybe one tech goes by and disappears for a tech. And then doesn't reach it. And then it's like, okay, I'm gonna dock then rather than go there. Because I think it's not going to this destination. And the way to test it out is just add a combinator with this planet destination here. And this is the thing, it will magically work. Just add that in. And let's try it again. No, nope, that wasn't it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I already thought that was it. Maybe it's a moon. Oh my god, it's a fucking moon. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh my god! The moon! It's a moon! <laughs> Nothing wrong with my logic. It's the converter. It's not a fucking planet. Fucking moon. Skill issues. <laughs> oh my god. So it's trying to convert this to planet, and like, oh there's no, no planet. Oh no. Oh no, 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 What, no, what no. are you talking about, it's no planet? I'm like, yeah, there's a planet there. And I was like, nah, mate. You don't know what you're talking about. Here you go, I'll send both. And this is now gonna be a moon. Moon. Boom, moon and planet. Got both. Let's see what works on both. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> well, how do I do it only one or the other? So it's getting both now. Hmm. We'll turn this one off. Let's see if it works. I might need one for moons, one for planets. I don't know how to do it, um, a multi... multi one. Skill issue. Definitely a skill issue. It's still not working though. Even though that was one of the problems, it's still not the main problem. There's something else going wrong as well. <laughs> Di diagnosing my complicated um, build. Hmm. Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Um. That does my head in. Oh my god, oh my lord. Each grain is zero output. Input count is moon. Yep, that's fine. But that didn't work. So I don't fly there either. So it's got the launch. Got the moon. Don't go to moon. It's like, nah, we're just gonna stay where we are. We're gonna dock. It's supposed to launch straight away. Well, I might manually launch, never look. Oh, that's right. I've got to, I've got to, um... I'll turn off the, the dock, auto docking. Oh, well, is that not connected like that? Oh, we go there. Really? Hmm. Okay. This is launch. About the docking. What do we supposed to tell the destination that comes from the signal dish? Yeah, so the signal dish receives um a scrambled signal and I've got to unscramble it back to planet or moon. And that then goes through the checklist at the end of it. So it's supposed to fire through and launch and go to the planet when we get the checklist done. So currently it's still saying dock. Um, and it's still saying now this orbit, even though, well, of course it won't say right now, because we have, we have to make a, f a dummy signal. I'll give it some more ticks. How many ticks need six? Okay, let's go, um, get some dummy signals from here to here. Two ticks. Oh, turn it on. It hasn't changed the destination, even though it's got the output correct. Why is that not receiving it? Oh, that's off. No, it's on. So even though it's got the correct thing, it's got z no A signal at all. What the hell's going on here? That off. Looking like now. It should have changed this destination when I did that. It's supposed to pass through this signal. The moon. Moon 1179. But it still hasn't got the signal in here. Not got shit. It hasn't changed this, so... What's gone wrong with the signal here? It's just supposed to change it if it's working. It's got the output signal. The red's going straight into there and it's not receiving it. That is on. Why? What the hell? Must have done something wrong, but I don't know what. Is there are other moons, there's moon orbit. There's a planet. Should we go in there? Like, there's nothing to stop it going there right now. How many poles are there, little bugger there? So it's getting the moon, it's getting the launch, getting 300 speed, and it's getting 6 ticks. So it's receiving the moon destination. It's not going there though. Why not? Hmm. 
this anchor again. Oh. How do you anchor like at the thing? It used to like jump to the actual thing where it's supposed to anchor. Now it's manually drop. Why does it do that? It used to like go to the right place. Uh, could green wire that in instead of red, but it shouldn't make a difference. So he's got the docking right now. Here's my anchor signals. No, I I, I disabled it before because I, I was trying to diagnose the, um, the launching thing rather than the anchoring. Anchoring is here; it's connected. So. I can't see this quick enough. I can see the signal for a second. Here it goes, it's got the moon in launch. And it disappears. And disappears again. Yeah, so it's disappearing as soon as I get to orbit. I see it now. It slows in the signal. So it's got the signal for launch on the ground, it gets to orbit, disappears the signal. And so it just redocks again. And I don't know why it's disappearing the signal though. This does. It's working on fire before too. And we've got the signal there. I mean, they're all positive signals too. We haven't got any negative ones. It must be this thing here. I think we had a problem this when I did the previous one. I had to store it in a, in a temporary combinator to, to keep it going. I think we lose that signal on the ticks. Now the question is how do I how do I choose between a moon and an orbit and a planet as well and keep the, the signal? I think we're gonna pass through another green green. A bit a bit dumb, but But how do we guarantee, like, how do I determine which one's legit? I've thought about that with my junkers before, because like, my junkers previously didn't do both. That just puts one through, right? But it's not necessarily the right one. When it gets when it's in orbit, it, it loses the signal of of this this nation, and so it auto docks. So it's doing everything correctly. The fact that it doesn't store the signal for more than that, that this that is like one tick when it's in orbit when it's supposed to fire the engines up. There's no destination. It loses this data on the tick, it disappears. So then it's got nowhere to go to. So it goes, oh, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to redock again. So it's it's trying to work around the one I need to install this for an extra tick. And also I can convert it between planet and moon. 
um, and to be the correct one. I don't know how to measure whether that's the correct one or not. So I might have to create one junker for all the moons and one junker for the planets. <laughs> Um, no, nah, these are, because the way they've implemented this, the spaceships lose signals with certain things. At least that's what I've had before, but... I was watching it when it before with this thing. You can see when it went to orbit, it had the signal before it went to orbit. As soon as it went to orbit, it had the docking clamp only and the speedometer. And so then it was docked. And the signal turned up again. Let's go down to the ground. Uh, now his orbit is uh, this one here. Planet orbit, back there. And that only goes through of these two. Um, I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be ticked as soon as we go to orbit. Um, but this one won't because no, we're not greater than 16k. So then this signal won't pass through because it won't be equal to two. Let's check so. They are separate though, but just making sure. If I turn that constant off and launching. That thing. Okay. So we got a moon problem, but um we can ignore that for now. Pass two signals and it'll pick the right one. Try that, we'll try that. Grr. Extra tech didn't work. No, I probably got confused on where to go to because I'm. Hang on, why is it only doing one up? Uh. Oh no, because I went to 2.3k. Yeah, that's no good. Um, there we go. No. Bit of a mystery. Bit of a mystery. Be great if it worked. So close to figuring it out. I don't know how to do the moon planet thing, but if I, if I, I think we'll just go. We'll just pretend that we're only going to moon. Fuck the planet. Let's add the extra step in. I don't think that solves it, but. At least we had dedicated one place to go to. Hmm. I think I, did, I actually did arithmetic last time. Let's, plus, let's do um, each plus zero output um, moon. I think that arithmetic holds it better. I don't know why. No, that's not it.
Alright, thanks for the bots, thanks for the chats. Hope you um, have good times of the uh, rest of your day. DJ. I might, might work on something else because it's not working out for me. And I'm not sure what to do. Actually, what do we send from the... Oh. No, we, we just send moon signals. We just send this uh, generic signal. I could do a moon one though. Maybe. Actually, that's, that's got planet there as well. That's actually supposed to be moon. As well. But the problem is really, it's just, uh, oh, it's this thing here, then it's going to be 9, signal 1, doesn't work, does not compute. I'm an idiot, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is it, yeah. <laughs> it's 34. <laughs> oh man. Alright, that's, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I'll leave this here for testing, but um, yeah, we're trying to go place that doesn't exist. So it's never gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You gonna work? Yeah, you're gonna work straight away. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, I mean, we tied up the wires. We made, we made things a bit, a bit tidier in the process, so that was not a bad diagnostic, but that is. Absolutely stupid. Oh my god, look at the radius of the planet. I was like, radius 1179, yes, that's the signal. That's the signal. Wait. Oh well. Well, there we go, we got, we got a signal. Now, the trick is, if we're seeing it both of these, will it work? I don't know. I would like it, I would hope it does work. We just seen it both. Because the other one won't exist. It should be a 34 planet as well as a 34 moon. We don't need all these other steps now, I don't believe. I'll leave them there for now. Um, because I'm paranoid now, but... Man, even... Yeah, I did so many changes. Like, little subtle changes. This shit does need to be done either, but I'll leave it here, because I know the zero case makes things go... Up to grounds in the way. Really? Have a look. Oh, there is pipes to ground. There's like two things here. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll just move the other way. That's hilarious. On the bots. You watch me be an amateur. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's fine. This is funny. Could have gone so much better. Alright, and that oil's gonna move too.
All right, let's try dock. Dr. Ground the way, what? I thought let's got rid of them. Oh, that oil's still there. All right. Uh, yeah. It's hard yards now, Jesus. Um, what was that one? I don't know what that was. It's not, it doesn't do anything. It's a, bo it's a bogus. It's a bogey. Um, I can't, man. I'm so brain dead. Jesus. Shows how tired I am. I just don't notice these little small details that rivers me pro notice. I'm guessing this pipe here doesn't. is in the way or something? It shouldn't be though. I thought we fixed it. What? It's still in the way? No, really? Oh, the corner of it is. Oh my god. This little ah oh, right. uh yeah okay yeah okay that's better bingo. Now does the request to chest work? No, it does not. You want to do minus fucking five million? It's still gonna request. It's flashes. It's not a big deal, but enough. Of that's a frustrating. Now we do request iron and copper here because we got so much of it. We got four hundred thousand. What am I supposed to do about that? I mean, we have to kind of take it. We got these extra signals now, which I'm like paranoid to take off. Is, uh, that helped me work out having zero signals, but I don't know if that actually helped or not. I think we just, we just balls it up, to be honest. Where's Wes tonight, anyway? Where is Wes? To browse the old factory, so you can see Wes. Factorio. Oh, I got Matoya's on. Hickam's on. Oh, it's Kick's on. He's streaming. Man, that. I would actually really. I think I'd really enjoy the Grand Theft Auto stuff, but. I have no idea how you're supposed to get access to that. Jesus. That one point moved is disconnected, is it? Thanks, Ivy Park. Have a look. You are right. Thank you very much. You've done your part to save me from my sanity. I'm just reading all that wood, to be honest. I'm stealing it from the planet, but... I think we should use the wood for the... process this somewhere. We're only 500, we stop at 500. Hmm. Why is that cannon off? What the hell? Do I, do I not want to? These little water ice, these ones are good. That stone patch is a bit, a bit small. Who are they grabbing from anyway? They're grabbing all this, uh... Ah, oh, because I got storage chests in these. Ah, oh, it's my old school design. 
My previous design, I left a uh, storage chest everywhere. It was a bit stupid. I guess my spaceship now is actually collecting stuff. Even though it's uh, the bots can't really recharge. So we can put down some friends. I don't know whether that helps or not, but... That should help, I think. This spots are go to these, uh... Sad robots, the better. I can't believe it didn't work because I put in the wrong ID on the planet. The planet signal. But this year moon. I had, I had like multiple things wrong. I still didn't resolve that either. I don't know whether it works to have two signals. If I send a moon and a planet signal, will it correctly go? I mean it should do technically because one's an in incorrect signal, right? So just go to the other one. I don't know whether that will create a problem. I think it will be okay though. I think I have faith in that. We'll see when we go back on the next trip. This one should be uh, almost filled up. Um, that's a lot of iron plates. Jeez. I think it's storing them down here. This is a big array of them. Are you shitting me? Am I converting a a serious? I'm an idiot. This should not go. Oh my god. That's really dumb design. That's brain dead. Jay was. Well, that's. Are oh, we just launching and taking off? Fuck you. Don't. Stop it. Fuck! Why'd you do that? I turned you off. Stay on the ground. Don't waste your fuel. I mean, you're, you're gonna get stuck. Oh my god, you're stuck here now. It's because I turned that off! Do I have auto save? 33628. When does auto save? 8 minutes ago. I mean, we're flying though. That's dumb though, jeez. Oh my god. I was kind of bothered refueling it remotely because of my stupid stupid stupidity. <laughs> yeah, we're already in orbit, so that's that's not too bad. Let's go turn this on. And yeah, we're good. This doesn't work though, which is a frick. I think it's annoying. The tech problem, I'm not sure how to solve that. But we'll move the pipes a bit better this time. We'll do them down here. Which is which? Top one's oil. I felt such an. Oh man. Who 
Look at these rocks. What are they doing? Being rocky. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't look right. That's okay. That doesn't look right there. That one there. Okay, it should uh, magically be fine this time because we don't have the thing disabled. So we have something to go to when it gets to the right signal. I guess now we're going to add more places. So I've got two. Now um, this one... The good thing about this is it preloads as well. Takes them out of the list. Oh, that's actually, that's actually a problem. Because I don't read these chests. They don't add to the logistics network. So the numbers stay under the threshold to actually trigger anything. We actually got the zero signals. We're going to fill those chests up first. Like, not just that, but two rows of chests. Before it will, it will request a ship. I guess it's actually okay, though. No, it's not a bad thing. This feels like uh, we should reread these chests, but the problem is they are set requests. So I can't read them. So are these ones... Are these ones being read? No, the steel... The steel is not. I could add the steel... read into into the list I can read all them and they could add into um, the back of the signal here I think there's only like 5k yeah we're gonna add to the back of that with a green wire so let's increase There we go, we've got some numbers, so now it's 37k. Oh, that's good. That's smarter. We're not still reading these ones. So these chests that are filled up with, to the broom, I don't get counted, but at least these ones are counting. We could fill this, we could actually two rows of them though. This row here could be steel as well. Just to read them, then it would unload more of these, but more a ratio thing, then like two thirds are red, one third is not red. Currently it's 50 50 are red to not red. And this is not. None of these chests do anything currently. I could actually. I could green the whole lot up. There's no reason not to, but we got this logic here for A signal. We could swap it to the last one to be A signal. But I can't like the. Nah, we'll just do it the last one. We'll swap it over. Um, yeah. Where's it hooking in? Back of that, okay. Maybe it's this one here instead. Let me get rid of this. So what we do is just delete it. And copy that in. Oh, but that's going to request it though, isn't it? Unless you make them steal. Oh, it's back and forwards it, which is no good. We're going to read these now. Cool, and the number should go up. There we go, 40k. That won't, um... I won't fill the last one, which is the, the one the ships can grab from. But not too bad. Might be better actually a bigger chest, actually. Yeah, this is a bigger chest in the middle. We do two by two chests and or something, or four by four. Maybe I was thinking a bit smarter. Hmm. I think it's okay, we're actually gonna get a, we're gonna get a signal again. So this ship should be about ready to go. What are we up to? Then okay, can still save. Been through a lot of trials and tribulations. 
I think we finally got the the junket. Um, in theory, it should work for any surface or any planet. Let's see if it launches and takes off and leaves. It did work. Good. God. Thank you. Finally got it going. Jeez. And then we got still got a signal. We got two signals. We got back the other one again. So we'll go back to um, old Agnea next time. But I think we got it good. So happy little ship is finally working. God. Took a few problematic troubleshootings. Brain dead me. So we can add um, other services. We can probably do asteroid. We can probably do uh, moon orbits. We can probably do any. We can probably do all the different locations actually. We just need a different signal converter. Yeah, to convert the signal back to what type of thing? Because if it doesn't exist, it won't go there, and so it won't won't be a problem. I think. The current has got two signals. It's got moon and planet. I think it'll, it'll correctly pick them. I don't know whether it will, but we'll find out when it gets back and unloads. I think I might, um... I think I might call it for tonight, though. I'm kind of tired. It's been a very long week. Um, I'm on holiday now, which is nice. I don't know who to raid, though. I have no idea. We're the ones I follow less and less than the streaming recently. We could ra raid Eva Ray's. He's doing Railroader. You guys might enjoy railroads. I think you guys like trains. We've seen, seen them new that way. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for looking. Give me a follow if you feel like watching more in the future. Up to you.